All right, let's get started with Nicopi with uh, Jillian and then Jake. Hey, Nicopi, so you're on track to put up stats similar to Kay Crowder last year. Um, what specific areas do you think you've developed in, and do you feel like you're stepping into a leadership role being one of the defense's top producers? Well, I feel like um, I'm still, I am stepped into that leadership role during the offseason. It wasn't, uh, it had, it's, not, it's not production based at all. It's just how I, I can influence the other people uh, on the defense and on the team. And about my stats, you know, I'm just, I just try to work every day to get better. Definitely, but this week is for just to get better. And um, not really focusing on any opponent, opponent, just focus on myself and my craft. Ms. Kobe, when, when you have a game like you did Saturday, uh, I know you guys try to always play with a chip on your shoulder, but but does it make you angry? Does it frustrate you? Do you kind of go into your preparation for the rest of the year um, or for, you know, even the next game, just kind of thinking that you don't want to have that happen again? You don't want that taste in your mouth again? Yeah, I mean, of course you don't want the taste in your mouth again. Uh, it definitely in any, in any kind of fashion, but – of course, you know, we put, prepare with the chip on our shoulder. We, uh, I feel like we're going to continue to prepare hard and continue to work hard to, uh, against any team we play again. You know, uh, practice just like every game is national championship. Let's go to Bailey and then Anthony Dasher. Hi, Nicole Um, Just how would you assess your growth and development over your time at Georgia? Uh, uh, how would I assess? I feel like I have grown tremendously, not just from a um, football standpoint, from but from a person standpoint, from just uh, learning and just going throughout life. I mean, I'm 19 years old, so I'm still trying to figure a lot of stuff out. So just being able to just continue to learn and definitely during this pandemic, having a lot of time uh, to myself and just learning who I am and everything like that. And uh, I feel like that I have uh, grown tremendously. Hey, Nick Kobe. Uh, whenever as a defense, as a group, you have a game kind of like this, is there ever a situation where the confidence needs to be regained or is it just a simple matter of going back and watching the film, making corrections? What is it uh, kind of how does that kind of stack up? I mean, uh, our defense, you know, we're going to, we, you know, we're going to uh, look at it just like every other game. We're going to assess. We're going to win. We're, gonna, we, we're not really, we're going to really pat, pat ourselves on the back much. But we're going to assess uh, everything we did wrong, everything we could have did better, and everything that, uh, we could possibly get in the future. So we're going to continue to just work and practice hard every day. That's all I could possibly say about that. Thanks. Let's go to Mark Weiser and then Seth Emerson. Jacoby, uh, the uh, bye week open date coming four games in, but an SEC only schedule. Do, do you feel a difference when you don't have any of those non conference games in the mix? Uh, you know, what's the toll on your body physically or mentally? Well, uh, you know, I don't, last year, you know, I, I was still at this point in the season, I was still battling, battling that ankle, little ankle injury. So, actually, I feel kind of better, you know, not to have, not to be, you know, better, but, you know, uh, playing the SC all schedule is uh, taxing on the body. But I feel like we continue to work, we continue to work out like we do uh, to prevent injuries and continue to get treatment, we're going to be good. Seth? For the defense, or do you look at it more as, can you hear me? Yeah, okay, I hear you. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Go, go ahead, yeah. Seth. Yeah, sorry. For the defense, or was it a case of just Alabama is really good and they're going to do that to a lot of people? I couldn't hear you. Yeah, Seth, you cut out. Can you try that again? All right, try one more time. Was Saturday's game humbling, you think, for the defense, or do you all think that that Alabama offense is just going to do that to a lot of people? You know, uh, Alabama had a good team. They had a good game plan to go against uh, what we had on defense. You know, uh, we're going to continue to just uh, practice and get better, and I'm pretty sure they're going to continue to practice and get better over there. So. I can't really say too much about them. I just can uh, just focus on this. And then. Connor? 
Sorry, you cut out there. Um, yeah, Nakobe, how much of what Alabama did in the second half is – and how your defense performed, how much of that is correctable, fixable, and what are you guys going to have to do differently going forward after that performance? I mean, uh, a lot of stuff is correctable. Uh, it probably, mostly everything, we got to uh, communicate better. We got we to gotta, uh, do a lot of stuff better, run to the ball, a lot of little things that we got to do better to just help ourselves become be a better defense you know, uh, and just play as one, as a unit. Everybody doing uh, one level. Hey, Nick. Kobe, I want to ask you about a current teammate and a former teammate. Um, so in terms of Ronnie Rice, can you share anything that you've learned from him, whether it be away from the field or on the field over the last couple of years? Um, and then with uh, Tay uh, Crowder, did you see his uh, see the uh, scooping score that he had uh, the other day? Okay, uh, let me start with Munch. You know, of course, I I've learned you know a lot from Munch, and not not so much that we even sat and talked about. He just told me something that I need to uh, do better, nothing like that. I just learned a lot just by I watching him do it stuff and just learning like that. Definitely, my first year trying to figure out. And of course, I seen Tay. You know, I text him about it. I congratulated him his uh his first NFL touchdown. So I was I was yeah, I was on I was yelling at the TV <laughs> as I seen it seen it happen. So yeah, I was I was happy. Let's go to Palmer and then William. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah Nakobe, you and Monty and Quay are three of the top four tacklers on the team. Um, you know, how do you think y'all's games complement each other and, and what do you think that says about the inside linebacker room? Uh to be uh, you know, I, I feel uh, we are we we are. Uh, I feel like I, I'm in inside the room. Room feel like they have a lot of trust in our inside the linebacker room uh, for anybody on in in the room. And I feel like we all bring a little bit something different to the game. But uh, in a day, yeah, if we get the job done, we get the job done. So I feel like that's that's probably the biggest thing. Hey, Nicobe, Um, you know, I just saw on Twitter, um, you know, you still support Horn Lake football and communicate with some of the guys on the team. You know, I want to ask, what kind of legacy do you think you left there after, um, you know, the undefeated season 2018 state championship like this award? Um, and, you know, what does it mean for you now to be representing the, the school and the town? Oh, yeah, it means a lot. You know, I know if, uh, at the end of the day, if anybody got my back is uh, is my town and where I came from, you know, just, just being able to do what I did there. Uh, well, not what I did there, but what my whole team did. Uh, from from I feel like switching from a losing culture, uh, from my first me and years past to uh, changing to a winning culture and winning the first state championship. So I, so of course I, I'm gonna continue to support my my community back home and everything like that. And they and I'm continue to watch and everything like uh, all their games and everything through the season. Nakobe, thank you for your time. I uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you.